the Cruzex Aerial Combat Exercise, promoted by the Brazilian Air Force in November, has come to an end, after more than 10 days. Cruzex is the largest military exercise between air forces in South America, and the 2024 edition featured a long-awaited novelty, the first participation of the Gripen E fighter in a multinational combat exercise. During the more than 10 days of duration, the Gripen E fighters of the Brazilian Air Force took turns acting sometimes as allies, sometimes as enemies, of F-16 aircraft from Chile, Mirage 2000 from Peru, KFIR from Colombia and also the legendary F-15 Eagle of the United States Air National Guard, among others. This allowed to test Gripen in a wide range of scenarios, providing a valuable sample of its capabilities. The new Gripen E fighters have been tested in simulated combat in Sweden and Brazil, but only internally, that is, against their own air force, facing Gripen C and modernized F-5 fighters. This was the first time that the Gripen E tested itself against aircraft from other countries, and importantly, it was the first time that it faced aircraft as capable as the F-15 Eagle. Although most of the results of this exercise remain secret, a series of public statements and some leaks about Gripen's participation have drawn attention. Among them is the information released by the Brazilian specialized media that, in BVR combat simulations, that is, out of visual range, the Gripen would have achieved victories over the F-15, which, although old, has been updated, including with the incorporation of radars with ESA technology, therefore remaining a very capable aircraft for current scenarios, not only due to its capabilities, but also due to the high level of training of its pilots, who are among the best trained and experienced in the world. At the end of Cruzex, an F-15 pilot praised the radar capacity of Brazilian Gripen fighters, with the following statement. Well, unfortunately your jets are not yet cleared for close combat. But I was very impressed with its radar capabilities. It does things I wish U.S. fighters would do, said the American pilot. Although he did not specify what these capabilities would be, the American pilot was certainly referring to the ability to mechanically reposition the Raven ES-05 radar antenna that equips the Gripen. And that is the biggest difference of this sensor. This technology allows for a field of view far superior to traditional fixed-mounted radars, such as the F-15's radar, which brings several advantages in long-range engagements. There are already other videos here on the channel covering this technology in more detail, for anyone who wants to check them out. The Brazilian Air Force also made comments regarding Gripen's participation in the exercise. According to the commander of the 1st Air Defense Group, Gripen E performed better than planned not only in relation to combat capabilities, but especially in relation to operational availability, with the fighters taken to the exercise fulfilling all missions planned in almost two weeks of intense training. An interesting detail is that, according to Brazilian defense portals, although the Gripen E was equipped with meteor missiles under its wings, the weapons launch software was programmed to simulate the launch of fictitious missiles with lower performance than the meteor, in order to guarantee a greater balance between participants and thus improve the training conditions of all pilots involved. Even so, its performance exceeded expectations that were already high, showing that the Swedish fighter, even when operated by pilots relatively new to its operation and without the full combat capabilities provided by the Meteor missile, can be a very effective combat platform even against very respectable opponents. Thank you for watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and see you next time.